Human Husbandry, Part 1, Kind Racketeer. After animal husbandry has been invented, human husbandry will inevitably emerge. How do we breed livestock? We provide animals with shelter, food, favorable conditions for reproduction, and treat them when needed. Then we take as many resources as we can without undermining their reproduction. If some extraneous entities practiced human husbandry, we might not even comprehend the essence of the situation. The same way, for example, that unicellular yeast don't suspect we help them to reproduce just for the sake of the gas they release. However, since we're talking about our kind, the pattern is not so difficult to grasp. Here is an example. Suppose you stumble upon a gunman who threatens you with violence, forcing you to buy a brick for half of all your savings. Those who survived agreed to the demand, but the resentment lingers on, giving no peace of mind. And if the victim has to pay the tribute every month, the continuous stress will nudge the person to look for reasonable ways of fighting the parasite. And that's where a well-known triad, faith, hope, and love, lends the parasite a helping hand. Faith is your ability to deceive yourself. It's enough for you to convince yourself that a racketeer is first and foremost a well-doer. In this condition, your cognitive dissonance stops traumatizing your psyche. Now, racketeering can be treated like inevitable expenses. It would be worth replacing hope with the goal to become a subject, not to be an object. Deception is the most profitable form of exchange if you deal with spineless creatures. Similarly, with electronics, I would call such a feeling as love and hate a hysteresis in the decision-making algorithm. The higher the level is, the steadier the condition is. Emphasized values are an appeal to stick to your beliefs. Beliefs are prosthesis for your mind in those places where you lack understanding. If you've been notified of the appropriation of your money, you are dealing with direct taxes. If money has been taken away without any notification, you are dealing with indirect taxes. The burden of taxation can be more easily perceived considering a material example. In the country where I live, you have to work 20 hours to refill the gas tank of your car while earning an average salary. Let's remove all charges on the salary, take away the value-added tax, subtract the excise tax, take away all other fees imposed on legal entity, subtract the overpriced transportation and production due to expensive energy, take away duties of the manufacturer, and so on. As it turns out, you can work not 20 but less than 4 hours to earn the value of this product. On the other hand, low wages are thought to undermine economy because of excessive funds withdrawals. Offering free roads to the population, governments recover the cost by taking sums many times larger through imposing fuel taxes. Prices rise and people are forced to get used to worse living standards. Authorities easily take away funds and squander them just as easily. It's not pleasant to watch this, especially if you had the experience to conduct your own business and understand how risky and difficult it is to earn money.